Okay, welcome to this extraordinary meeting of Portishead Town Council. Um, to start with, just to say we're not expecting any fire alarms, so if the fire alarm does go off, um, can you please leave via the fire exit, congregate in the car park until the all clear is sounded and we can come back in? Thank you. Do we have apologies for absence? Thank you, Mr Chairman. We have apologies for absence from councillors Bob Cartwright and Martin Dowling. Thank you. Moving on, declaration of councillors' mm -hmm. interests. If we just want to go around the room, I have none that I'm aware of. 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 OK, thank you. Uh, item three we're on now is declarations of acceptance of office. To receive the declarations of acceptance of office from elected town council members for the by-election for Portishead East and Portishead South Wards 2024. To receive direct uh, declarations of acceptance of office from Councillor Paul Gardner and Councillor Maryam Afsal, South Ward. Um, recommendation is to receive the declarations of acceptance of office from elected town council members, namely Councillor Paul Gardner and Councillor Mariam Afsal. And I'd like to welcome on behalf of the council our two new councillors to Paulie's Head Town Council and hope that they will enjoy their time on this council. Do we do the declarations now? And do, do they have the declarations before them? Oh. OK, so before we proceed on to item four, I'd just like to revisit declarations of interest and ask our two new councillors if they have any interest to declare. And I'm not unaware of. That I'm aware of. Thank you. Item four, Hall's refurbishment, appointment of survey specialists to receive a covering report on survey work that requires completion for commencement of refurbishment works to Portishead Town Council's three community halls and to approve the cost of the appointment of the survey specialists. A report was attached to the agenda which has been circulated to everybody. Hopefully everyone's had a chance to have a look at that report. Um, there is a recommendation to appoint survey specialists and approve the cost of the appointments, but does anyone wish to speak to this first? Or in fact, do we need a proposer and seconder on this one? Yes, so could I have a proposer? Okay, and a seconder. Okay, would anyone like to speak to it now? Just point out that the costs involved here are included in the budget forecasts that were circulated a few months ago. The cost of consultancy fees generally is estimated at around 15% of the total project cost. And this bundle, together with Osmond Trick's own fee of approximately 32,000, will absorb all the budget allowance. We do not expect any other significant fees to come through. Thank you. And Emma, did you want to? Yeah, I only wanted to say one thing. Obviously, the costs are applicable to all three locations at the moment. And I think we more or less agreed to keep under review the cost of the other two locations as to whether they become unviable, really, I guess. So I'm just making sure that we we keep that on our on our sort of agendas to, to just make sure that it's 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 what we you know it's it's good use of of the money that we're spending because we're spending money assessing the the locations. That's right. Okay, so can we, can can we just add note that in the minutes? Yeah. Can I just add the surveys do 
affect all three properties. And until we've got the results of the surveys, we don't know whether to pursue with any one building or not. Okay. Sorry, Mike, yeah? Just on that note, really, the um, the two other halls, of course, are much newer. So there's a lot more standardization in terms of doorways and uh, fire regulations and so on. So I think uh, the assessments will be a lot easier in those two halls and probably the lower cost ratio in terms of the works that need doing to them. This one, as I understand from Mike and others, it's uh, all the doorways are different widths and so on. So it's quite complicated as will presumably come out in the report. Is there anybody else wishing to speak regarding this? No? Okay, in which case we've got a proposal and seconder, the recommendation to appoint survey specialists and approve the cost of the appointments. Can I have a show of hands for all of those in favour, please? I think that's everybody. Okay, agenda item number five. Portishead Town okay. Football Club, deed of variation to agree and the chairman to sign a deed of variation for the Portishead Town Football Club. The deed of variation is attached to the agenda. The recommendation is to approve the deed of variation and for the chairman to sign the deed on behalf of the council. Um, do I have a proposer for that? Ask a question first, Tom. Do you, want to do, do you want to do the proposing first? We, we, we need a proposal okay. and a seconder before we talk, yeah. So, proposer? Anybody? Oh, no. Tim, thank you. And a seconder? Mike, there we go. So, yes, please, Paul. Yeah, I, just, I, I presume this is the the, uh, the Football Foundation want the deed of variation because they're taking any, because they're providing the grant and therefore they want some interest in the in, in the property, as it were. That, that's what it's about. Okay. All right, just check. Yeah. And, the, uh, have they got the grant? Is it by Yeah, it's all sorted out, isn't it? Okay. Excellent. Good. Okay. Emma? Sorry. Have, have, have we had it reviewed? The, very, the deed of variation? Yeah. It's a real okay. And it doesn't do anything else to prevent us from... No. So, yeah. That, that, that was all. I just didn't know what review we'd we'd been through. So, yeah, I think, I think it's a fairly minor adjustment to it, um, just to just to balance up or to, to 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 give them permission to do something that they would currently have to come to us to ask for anyway, uh, which we probably give permission for anyway. So it's just to remove that process from it. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Anybody else? Oh, so being proposed and seconded, if I could have a show of hands, all of those in favour then. Unanimous again. Okay, item number six. Portishead Town Council Behaviour Policy to consider amendments to the behaviour policy. Um, an amended behaviour policy went out with the agenda, and I believe there is a, an update to that because it's a work in progress at the moment. There's an update to that, which has it been circulated in the room? Sorry, Emma. Sorry. Like, Once my glasses are off, I can't see that far. No. Oh, I'll, I'll get a flag next time. Um, um, I, I wonder, given the extent to the variation of this version that we've got here, um, if it's worth that the councillors have more time to review. Um, it's a substantial variation from the one which we had earlier in the week, which was version 3.2. Um, between a number of us, there's been a number of iterations through the week, um, but we've we've kind of taken um, examples of various yep. councils' um, policies and tried to make this far more transparent, um, far more sort of you know um, detailed in terms of the measures um, 
and our expectations. Um, but yeah, I just wonder whether, given the given the difference that we've got between what went out with the agenda to where we've got today, if it's probably worth having more time as you know a councillor group to review before we make any um, next call, make any. Does, assessment or agreement. Sorry, does anybody um, from the public want to have a copy? Um, Thank you, Emma. Sorry, so are the, are the amendments material against the one we saw earlier in the week or are they minor typo changes? What, what's... Very much dependent upon which version you saw earlier in the week. We are, I mean, in fact, I don't think the version number's on here. Which version are we on now? No, this is... Uh... Three one three point seven, I think. Um, in the week, I think okay. most of you saw three point four. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've seen three point five actually, but the... I think I agree with Emma. If it's obviously there are different versions flying around, so you know, there needs to be a stable version. Otherwise, we're going to get in a mess. Not least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as it's on the agenda, I will I will see if there is a proposer and seconder, and if not, we will um, push it off. Hmm? You're proposing, are you, Tim? Okay. So being no proposer and seconder, we will push this off to the next meeting. So that was item six. There we go. Item seven is public <coughs> participation. Uh, to receive from members of the public any statements or questions relevant to put his head to which an answer will be given or if necessary, a written reply will follow or the questioner will be informed of the appropriate contact details. And because I've moved things around and now everything's in the wrong place. I, I'm going to say I would remind those of you present that this is a business meeting of Portishead Town Council to transact the business of the council. Members of the public are welcome to speak on any subject they wish as long as it is relevant to the business of Portishead Town Council. Personal comments about individuals present at this meeting or not are unacceptable. If any speaker makes any personal comments on the first occasion, they will be warned it is unacceptable. On the second occasion, they will be asked to withdraw from public participation. Do we have anybody in the public gallery who would like to speak? Thank you, Paul Churchill, please come up. Before you start, if anybody on, no, no, carry on coming up. If anybody online would like to speak, could you put your hand up or make it known? And um, and we'll we'll get you in. Thank you, Paul. Okay, thank you. Um, just a couple of points. Um, I'm not looking for for answers to this. It's just a couple of points. Um, first and foremost, congratulations, Miriam, Paul. Um, great feather in the cap for Courtside Independence. I am still a supporter, um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys will do a a fantastic job. Um, Miriam, we met before. Um, yeah, we talked about it. So, yeah, excellent. Secondly, um, Emma, your your um, request to postpone approving the behaviour policy, I agree totally. I think that's a good idea. There were a couple of things. I've not had a chance to read through the revised one yet, um, but there were a couple of items in the previous proposed one that, that raised a couple of concerns for me. Um, and I will just tell you what they were, although they may or may not be relevant now. Um, there was an item in there refusing to leave a meeting when requested to do so by the chair of the meeting. Uh, and I think that needs to have something a little more around it. It needs to be uh, for, for you know a reason that is justifiable that they're asked to leave, not just being asked to leave. Uh, and also in the behavioural policy panel, behaviour considered to be unacceptable by the chair of Portishead Town Council will be assessed. And again, I think that's 
Um, I think that's probably leaving that decision down to a single person, which I wouldn't recommend myself personally. Um, and then my last point, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a bit more, bit more of a challenging one. Um, it refers to a meeting that happened uh, a few weeks ago on the 19th of June. Um, and I would just like to draw everyone's attention to the code of conduct that all councillors sign up to. Uh, and that is that he, she shall behave in such a way that a reasonable person would regard as respectful. He, she shall not act in a way which a reasonable person would regard as bullying or intimidation. In the video of that meeting on the 19th of June, the full council meeting, I saw two councillors who definitely breached that. Uh, and I would hope that that is being dealt with internally. Uh, that's all I've got. Thank you. Okay, so just as a, a quick response, I think with the um, with the latest iteration of the behaviour policy, the um, the things that you were concerned about have been have been updated in there. So hopefully, once we've all had a chance to go through that one, you'll you'll see that there's been some changes made around how that works. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody online who'd like to speak? Is there anybody else in the room who would like to speak? Please put your hand up now. Otherwise, we're going to close public participation. There we go. The date of the next meeting of the Town Council is Wednesday, the 11th of September, 2024, at 7.30 p.m. Being no further business to discuss, I now declare the meeting as closed.